All right, here we go. They say this all the time, but that is obviously usually the garage, but now it's the salesperson's model, or the salesperson's office, excuse me. But yeah, let's go take a look at the Fernando. All right, this is cool because it's got a really nice open walkway here. Usually it's just purely for cosmetic, but this is actually large enough here. You know, you could put two chairs and maybe a little coffee table, something like that. Also, this home, you know, if you're not from uh, Northeast Florida, this is not wood. That is a hardy board or hardy type product, which is of course made with concrete. So it looks like wood, but it's not. All right, so to my left is the staircase, which we'll go up in a little bit. And then straight ahead, it's the first floor. So let's go take a look. One of the things I do love, and I think it's, uh, I don't know, I just love it at home. Some people do, some people don't, is smooth walls. These walls are smooth, which what I like about that is I just think it looks like quality. On the other hand, if you take decorations down and put them back up a lot or do you know different things, then maybe you want the uh, the orange peel kind of you know to hide all of that. So it's really up to you. That's just something that I like. So kind of like a lot of the homes here, we have you know here's your front door. You know you've got your kitchen area, which has a really cool coastal vibe. Of course, this is a gas community, which means gas is piped into the neighborhood. There's no uh, propane tanks anywhere. But it definitely feeds into the dining area and the lanai, which is great. This lanai here is covered. We're gonna go out there probably last. We'll go explore that then. But there is a really good So one of the biggest, I don't think I said it in the description, one of the biggest questions I get when I'm doing these model home tours is, well, what did this home cost? And a lot of times it's almost impossible to answer because it depends on the upgrades and all the stuff that you choose for it and stuff like that. It can run the gamut. But the same model that we're looking at, they actually have one for sale that is on a preserve lot. And that means that behind the home is woods or a wooded area that will never be built on. So obviously those go for a premium. That one is listed for just under 700,000. Now that doesn't include premiums, it doesn't include anything you might be able to negotiate. It is just strictly the sticker price. So to give you an idea what this home might cost you out the door, again, it, give or take, you know, if you got a, a lot that wasn't on a preserve, it would cost less, or if you didn't have as many in upgrades, it would cost less, or it could cost more if you put more of that kind of stuff in. So, but it's like say just under 700,000 is what they're currently listing this one for. So there you go. All right, so this is a half bath, downstairs half bath. And obviously that is there for when you have company. So, or you could use it, I guess, yourself, but usually that's what it is. So that way, if you had company coming over, they don't have to uh, go upstairs and use what might be the kid's bathroom or go into your bedroom and use yours. Although this is a beautiful bedroom. So when I said preserve, like you see out here, you can see that house. If this is a preserve lot, you would not be able to see that. I guess so that is a king size bed, give you an idea. And I love the wood paneling up here. It's kind of a soft wood. It's definitely like a beachy coastal vibe, which being that we're about 15 minutes from the ocean, that makes a lot of sense. All right, cool. So there you go, you got the sinks are next to each other. You have one large shower. And it has two shower heads. So you've got a uh, bench right here, got a shower head, and you've got your rain shower head up there. And of course you have a window that's way up high just for some light. And I have to say too, that is one of the things, oh, there you go, water closet. It's so one of the things I love about these homes is all the natural light. This is Florida, when you have a beautiful day like today, of course you're gonna want the windows open. So here's the master closet. They already have built-ins, which is nice, makes better use of the space. There you go. And again, we're gonna do the outdoor living area last. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. So what are your thoughts so far? Does anything stand out to you that you like? Throw a comment down below, I'd be curious, and uh, I always shoot to um, 
answer those within 24 hours. Okay, so this would normally be a door to the garage, but since it's a um, salesperson's office, it's closed in. Then you've got your laundry room. And it's just a basic laundry room, it has a nice tile, but there isn't any, uh, and you have some cupboards up above. There you go. I think for the square footage, it's laid out pretty well. Looks bigger than you would think. All right. Another thing I like about this house, by the way, is the um, the solid stairs, the wood. I like that. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of carpet on stairs. And by the way, you keep seeing chocolate Easter bunnies. If you watch my previous videos, you know what that's about. If you don't, you will. I will show you why this builder has chocolate Easter bunnies all over its models. All right, so here we go. We're at the landing. And this is definitely big enough here. I've seen our, our buyers, uh, when they buy homes similar to this, either have a second living room for like guests or let's say your kids. Also over here in this little area, you could put a desk over there and over there. So if you have older kids um, doing their homework, they come upstairs and that is their designated homework area. So when you're there, you're doing homework. When you're not, you're not, that kind of thing. I think homeschoolers do stuff like that too. Cool. All right, so let's check out the secondary bedrooms. And the last one will have the secret to the chocolate bunny. Guessing that's a queen size bed, don't hold me to that. Just kind of give you an idea of the size. Okay, there you go. So you've got a um, double vanity and you've got your uh, shower, nice looking tile, and a water closet. This is bedroom number uh, three, because we had the owner's retreat downstairs. There you go. So this one has a walk-in closet. And then at last, the chocolate Easter bunny for bedroom number four. All right, so let me show you what we're looking at here. And by the way, it normally would not have a huge hole in the ceiling. Uh, this is a real bedroom, that's a closet, I have a bifold door. All right, so what you'll see up there, what they're showing you is if you were to go up in the attic, that is what it would look like. And it's spray foam insulation that's on the underside of the roof. Where most of the homes that are insulated here, the insulation is on the ground in the attic. So there's no real barrier between the roof and it, the air that as it comes down. So it's up in the attics is super hot. And but here though, their attics are not. Their attics are kind of like normal room temperature because of that spray foam insulation under the, on the underside of the roof. So why chocolate bunnies? Well, what they're saying is, let's see here. Ah, oh, there it is. Attic so cool, even chocolate won't melt. What they mean by that is they put chocolate bunnies up there, they're guaranteeing uh, that the chocolate will not melt for an entire year while it's up in your attic. And by the way, if you do buy a home with us and you buy a Providence home, if you're okay with it, we would love to throw a chocolate bunny up there, do it on YouTube, and then come back in a year and see what that chocolate bunny looks like. So if you're okay with that, we would love to do it. All right, so before we go on downstairs and take a look at the outdoor area, I would love to, uh, to bring up that we are real estate agents. My team and I are all professionally licensed realtors. And when you work with us, you're not just hiring an agent, you are finding a partner. You know, we're not here to make decisions. We're not here to um, anything like that. What we're here to do is to help you and to make sure that you find what's best for you and your family. And that can look a couple different ways. Uh, we have a Rolodex full of referral partners. So whether you need insurance agents, whether you need a lender, whether you need something that has nothing at all to do with real estate, we are all deeply connected to the community and either my, time or my team or myself would love the chance to help you with that. So give us a call, shoot us a text. Uh, it may be me that answers it or it may be one of the agents on my team. So let's go check out the outdoor, here's the outdoor living area, which you're, if you're moving to Florida, you're probably moving here because of that. Meaning you could be outdoors almost all year or all year. All right, so this one is screened in, which I like. It's also, look at a beautiful day. 
It's also under roof with a large ceiling fan. It's got a nice dining room table. So you can do a couple different things here. I would do the same thing actually. I have a dining table over here. Maybe have a server over there. And then over here you have kind of like a green egg, but a different brand, I guess. And then a gas grill. And then this is what we call a summer kitchen. So you've got granite countertop. You got uh, trash cans right here. That's obviously a refrigerator. I believe these are like drawer, yeah. And you've got drawers, oh wait a minute. Does that have a, oh that's cool, it has a soft close on a uh, summer kitchen, I've never seen that. And then here's a Primo summer grill. Okay, that's really thick and really heavy, so yeah, cool. Well there you have it, what do you think? Throw your comments down below. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, we do two model tours per week in Northeast Florida. So if you're looking to relocate here or you just like seeing the insides of model homes, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you don't mind doing me a favor, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like it. Uh, that helps me come up in ratings. And yeah, if you're, looking for a, um, if you're looking for assistance with relocating to Northeast Florida, whether it's new constructions, resales, doesn't really matter to us, we would love the chance to help you. And give us a call, shoot us a text, whatever works best for you. My name is Andrew Michael. I appreciate your time and I look forward to meeting you in person. Take care.